Hello, it's the 28th of uh, March here today. Uh, very windy, you'll see me for a little bit, but here what I've got's blown all over the place. Uh, I've got a little bit fed up with my own garden, well, not fed up, but uh, I've had a heavy morning, so I thought I'd have a little ride out. I've come across to Ann Stoke's garden. If you remember, we did a, an early video uh, in his greenhouse. I give him a call to see if I could pop across and just do a follow up before he plants out. I know he's got uh, stuff ready to plant out, his onions are ready. So we'll put it on our and we'll ask him a few little questions and see how he's doing. Hello, Alan, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. That's good. As long as you keep me safe with the COVID. Everything's looking good in here? Well, it, uh, it could be better if I had more room. <laughs> well, that's, it's everybody's uh, problem at the moment. Um, all Cumbrian in all, here. All Cumbrian. All your pot leaks are Cumbrian. It's all obviously the the. Well, Alan's got two pot leaks. Um, one which he calls the Bedlington, which is a very straight one that tends to go long, and the other one is what he calls the Gun In, which is a shorter leak, which he, he gets up to really big sizes. What's the the leak on the front here, Alan? This is the one at the one black hole with. Uh, last August bank holiday. Oh, last year, yeah. aye. So that was a good one. It was over 250, wasn't it? 253 cube. 250, 250 what? 253. 253 cube for a Cumbrian. It's a, a big leak, that leg. Yes, that's looking nice. That's a five litre pot? That's a five litre pot. Yeah, very nice. They're looking good. Are you happy with them at the moment? I'm very happy, but I would have been happier still if I could have gotten them into a bigger pot last week. Yeah, for, I wanted them on for another four weeks at least. So you would like to wait another four weeks to plant out? No, I'll be planting out around about the tenth. Around about the tenth of the month, so really two two and a half weeks sort of style. You can see the bottom are through. Just look there. Yeah, the roots are through there. You can see that. Ah, well, that's good. Um, they're looking very good. All the leeks are looking good. He's got a good range. Are you growing the two different ones? Or are you? No, I, these, all these here uh, will be planted. These are all going to your beds? Aye. And all, all your beds prepared now? They're all prepared up the lot, aren't I? You grow a lot in barrels now, don't you? Aye, if you like. After we're finished here, I can take you up there. And yeah, it would be nice all, to look. It's all ready. Well, we'd love to do that, because obviously it'll show you Alan's set up at his, at his allotment. This is his house garden in the back garden aluminium greenhouse in here Alan got a little few virus free off me and this is the virus free that's a nice looking leak it's starting to shape up nicely now Alan it is I but unfortunately I've got one or two little creepies on them I'll have them spread tonight yeah it's best to get on top now before they're planted out um, they're a bugger to try and keep out these strips it's these, very very these difficult been very slow in growing for some reason uh-huh uh, as I know, I've seen yours, and yours is fast growing, and mine's not. Ah, th they're still a nice size for the time of year. I think uh, they should do well later on. And, and they're just, just they're starting to shape up like a Cumbrian, whereas in the early stages it didn't resemble a Cumbrian, did it? No, it didn't, no. I think I, that's with it being... on their own. Yeah, they're starting to pop their buttons back. Did it come up in length? Because mine did. Well, it did, I. And they're dropping back uh, nicely that's now. That's pop one, two, three. I can see there's three flags gone on that. Um, which is a that's a good thing, but having said that, uh, we are looking for a little bit of length on these because the Cumbrian is noted for being a slightly short leak. Hopefully, this one will start to make a little bit of length. That's good. You've got some really big onions there, Alan. What size pots have we got the onions into? Well, they're in flower buckets. In the flower buckets, they're big onions, man. You've got some big onions, yes. Few for the heavyweight lads here. Um, what compost have you got those in on? They're all in your uh, professional. Oh, the professional multi, uh, the professional uh, clover. Mixed with uh, beverages, John Innes number two. Ah, well, so that's a mixture of, you've got a soil based compost in with the peat based. Looking very good. Plenty of fruits on, big fruits, well sheared up there. They look smashing. And when are you planting those out? Hopefully tomorrow. All oh, right, that's good. You've got a task on your hand. I hope you've got somebody to help you because they're big plants to try and get out of those containers. 30 odd. Uh huh. And I want 22. Oh, you can see there's going to be some big onions here. Yep. Yes, they're in big pots. That's got to be a 10 litre pot, I would say, at least. Plenty of top on those. They're looking very good. 
we'll I'll probably look to follow those through the season and see how we do with them on because uh, they look excellent. They're nice and clean, mind. A Mick Cooks mm -hmm. and a Summer Stephen Purposes. Very good. Ah, they are good. Is that a couple of leaks that you got the hybrids that's ones off? Uh, that I got off Peter Carey. That's Peter, Peter Carey's hybrid seedlings. Two good leaks. They're in a three litre pot. They're doing all right for them, definitely. And moving on to Blanche leaks. I would love to have them put in. What <laughs> those? Ah, well, when you get a bit of room tomorrow, you'll be able to uh, get those potted up. Cams, ped. Pendle's them, them Pendle Blanche leaks. Aye. The Blanche is, is up the, the lot. You've got some in, up there already. In the cold greenhouse. Right? Aye. Ah, well, I mean, at the minute, we're not getting bad weather. We're forecast for a heat wave over the next two or three days. There you get that one back. And these few at the front, what are these ones? These is Billy Reed's Giant. Oh, the Billy Reed's Giant, aye. Are you going to grow some giants this year? Well, I'm going to grow to them 12. Uh huh. Uh, just. Well, we've got a second class on at the Northeast Horticultural Society, um, which are. It's going to be judged CIU rules, so the, the giant could do well in there. But, uh, They're also I, in five litre pots. I don't, I don't like growing in heavyweights, really. Ah, I know. Uh, so, are you going to grow for heavyweight? Are you going to grow it to try and get it into like a CIU class? Well. Whatever you can get. Either. Ah, yeah, that, either. That's the, that's the thing. Very good. Well, it's been a pleasure to come and have a look, Alan. Thank you. What we'll do, Alan's uh, said we can go up to his allotment, so we'll take a look up there and see how he's doing up there.